All right, today we're going to be cutting up some pine uh, for the timber frame. And I'll have to say that my least favorite wood is pine. Uh, just, it's a soft wood. It doesn't have a whole lot of character. I mean, you can get some knotty pieces to have some character, but then it's no good. But I don't like cutting it because it's really not as fun. But, um, you know, being able to cut on the sawmill, that does make it fun. But anyway, it is good for structural lumber and it, it is, uh, you're nice if you have a good ceiling that's tongue and groove or uh, beaded board, that, that always looks nice, but it's just not, it's not as fun to cut as like a walnut or a white oak or a cherry or something like that. But anyway, we're gonna, we're gonna get, get this going and show y'all some of the grain on here, what I'm talking about as far as the grain, and then we're gonna load this up on the trailer and then we'll be done. So y'all stay tuned, watch this big 70 run. In, in today's time, it's uh, it's really important to take care of your equipment. I mean, it's always important, but with the way part shortages are, it's really important to watch everything and make sure your equipment's taken care of. But I know a guy who who uh, made rocking chairs for a living, and he went, I think he said he went three or four months without his sawmill, and he was having to buy lumber because a part broke on his machinery. So you want to make sure you take care of your equipment. One thing I like to do is, is let it run for a few minutes before I start revving up and uh, running at full speed. So I like to let the engine warm up. I always check your oil, things like that. But that's what I'm doing here, just kind of letting it warm up a little bit. You can see how boring this pine is. It's not a lot of grain, but it does the job when you need it for structural lumber. He's cutting those slats off for me. Two by eight by fourteen feet of those two logs. 